Have a book for dinner tonight. Take your time to digest it right. Books can be food for thought, so try one out. You might like it a lot. Try several, each a different flavor. Then choose your favorite to thoroughly savor. Your choice of book is a matter of taste. Everyone's is different, so none go to waste. Nonfiction books can be short and thin and lean. Adventure books can be long, thick, and mean. Dramatic thrillers can be rich, thick, and chunky. Humor and satire can be fun, light, and funky. Mysteries can be suspenseful, cold, and chilling. Horror stories will scare you to death if you're willing. History books have a mouthful of nuts and dates. Art and photo books will provide you with plenty of plates. Lots of flavors of books abound. They're easy to find, just look around. So tonight, just choose one and try it. Because with a book, you needn't diet. Food for thought. It's called Sweet Kisses. It's a chip off the old block. It's in marble and powder. It's in blocks and bars. It's French silk. And a rocky road. It's Bavarian cream. And Swiss milk. It's a turtle and a mouse. It's food of the gods and devil's food. It's the icing on the cake. So, what is it? It's chocolate. I love chocolate. How about you? Is there anybody who doesn't? Now, could vegetables ever be described like this?